Number 11. East-West Schism. Summer of 1978. A cafe in the Vatican. Pinocchio and the future Pope John Paul I are sitting at a table in a cafe. The future Pope John Paul II is standing at the bar. Since there is no security camera in the cafe in 1978, everything we'll write about here is based on the notes and sketches of Pinocchio. The future Pope John Paul I is licking stamps and writing out addresses on envelopes. In the envelopes are invitations to his installation. The future Pope John Paul I is smiling and occasionally looks over Pinocchio, who is intently reading a book by Mark Twain. Metropolitan Nicodem of Leningrad enters the cafe, taking in all that's happening, seeing the future Pope John Paul I licking his own stamps, drops his jaw in surprise. He addresses God, my Lord, why is it that the future Pope himself must lick his own stamps? God's answer is unknown, because Metropolitan Nicodem falls down dead in the cafe, on his back, arms outstretched, with his hands facing north, and he doesn't even have time to close his mouth. The future Pope John Paul I looks at the body of Metropolitan Nicodem of Leningrad, smiles, and continues licking his stamps. Aristotle Anassis walks into the cafe, trips over the body, falls down. He gets up, approaches the bar, and orders a single espresso from the future Pope, John Paul II. The future Pope, John Paul II, says from behind the bar, that'll be one million lira. The heir says, in an American accent, oh my gosh, this is the best espresso I've ever tasted. Here's a million dollars. I'll buy everything here. But that's not enough to buy the Vatican, says the future Pope, John Paul II. Damn, says the heir. I meant just a cafe. Who knows? It might be useful to me in this life. And it's not too much to pay for such great coffee. The cafe could be mine. Oh, and by the way, is the Vatican for sale? The future Pope, John Paul II, says, How do I know? I'm not Pope yet. The future Pope, John Paul II, John Paul I, looks over to the bar, smiles, goes back to licking his stamps. The heir of Aristotle Onassis opens his mouth to order another cup of coffee, but can't get enough breath, and he falls down dead, his face to the floor, his head facing south, and his arms outstretched. He fails to close his mouth. The soles of the heir's fantastically expensive shoes are touching the soles of the not-so-expensive shoes belonging to Nicodem. Look what a strange figure those servants of God are cutting, says Pinocchio. It seems to me that, we, that they are forming some Cyrillic letters, says the future Pope John Paul I. It looks like a jet. says Pinocchio. Yes, that's true, says the future Pope John Paul I. What sense is there in all these deaths, asks Pinocchio. The future Pope John Paul I finishes licking the 33rd stamp, smiles, and answers Pinocchio. We're not meant to understand God's meaning. If we are to believe today's New York Times, Yesterday, Pope John Paul II became a new saint. Pound Ridge, New York.